Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 here with Dawn and Onyx and their third litter of wolf pups. And we have just suffered the loss of our only albino wolf pup, Frost, who unfortunately was taken by a coyote while we were distracted with trying to extract Silver, one of our wolf pups, from out of a bush. Silver has proven to be a very concerned and slightly cowardly wolf pup, and as a result, hides behind bushes and logs and gets stuck whenever danger approaches. And the end result is that I feel like it may have cost Frost Frost's life. And that's kind of a, a heavy subject to put on Silver's young shoulders. So Don and Onyx try not to think that and they try not to focus on that. But it is something that is on their mind because they have lost one of their own. And that's kind of the first blow of a tragedy that has happened since we moved up here to Aspen Heights and we have been having such a healthy third litter. And Dawn was even thinking about possibly having a fourth litter. We were gonna do that before moving on, but I'm gonna have to see how things go as we finish training our wolf puffs up. Uh, little Lynx, the runt, of course. Onyx is always looking out for the runts of our litters. He's always super like concerned about them, wants to make sure that they're going to be okay, which is very sweet. But let's go ahead and finish up this elk carcass. Ah, and then we need to train our pups. So even with all of the coyotes that we chased away and all of the eagles that we chased away, we actually still have not fully trained our pups yet. They need to learn how to hunt. They need to continue to learn how to defend themselves. And we've not even trained one of them enough for any of that. So don't worry about the numbers. I am keeping track of the numbers that we use to determine how well our wolf pups are trained uh, and behind the scenes, because I think it's a little distracting for you guys to have to do the math too. But if you're curious, I will try to remember to post in the comment section the scale that we are using that Ashley Romeve actually created for us uh, quite some time ago, well over a year ago. And you guys can follow along with that scale too if you are trying to train your wolf pups and have a little bit of an extra challenge before you move on to the summer hunting ground. So all right, looks like our pups are safe for now. I see one, two, and Lily has come along, possibly because she knows we are getting ready for a hunt. So we actually need to train our wolf pups up to 50 points each before we can move on. So 150 points total. Uh, just for the record, we're only at 37, but not for long. Let's do this. All right, come on, Onyx. We might want to keep these first couple hunts closer to our pups, but, uh-oh, uh-oh, not the bull elk, not the bull elk. Oh, that was a really smart, really, really smart cow elk. She was just going in circles. Let's see if we can turn her so she can go towards the pups and they can have an idea. Look at them watch, they're watching the hunt. That is how it should go. They should be learning from their parents on how to pull off a successful hunt. And once we manage to take it down, come on cow elk, then they'll be a little bit closer to being proper wolves. Okay, hang on. Onyx, we might want to wait for her to turn for just a second. There we go. She was getting way too far away. And let's chase her this direction. And then we'll go back and show our pups how it's done. So come on, cow elk. We're gonna specifically herd you into this area so that hopefully when we take you down... All right, you ready for this, Onyx? Let's do it. Hopefully when we take her down right over here, it'll be food that we can feed off of for the journey to the summer hunting ground. And we might want to start moving over towards the hills pretty soon, so that's an idea. All right, and let's go back to our wolf pups. There they are! All right! Silver, Lily, Lynx, I hope all of you were paying attention. That was a very important hunt. It should have taught you guys what you need to do in order to survive. And we're scaring off all of the little birds. All right, Silver is with us, Lily is with us, Lynx is with us. I think that really worked out quite well. All right, Lily, time to fill you up too. Your father is actually taking care of that for once. That is very helpful. So I, I hope we can, we can begin to find a little bit of peace, even though we have lost one of our pups. Lily, Lynx, and Silver, if you all stay inside of these bushes, we'll be able to keep you safe. Give me just a second, guys. I'm gonna make sure that we are keeping proper track. We have almost fully trained one pup, so we need to take out another cow elk, and then we'll have one pup trained up. And we need to train three pups because we currently have three pups. But if the worst comes to worst, just like what happened in last litter, and we end up, oh, watch that bull elk. I feel like, oh, did you see how his horns were shorter? 
That is so cool. His antlers were actually shorter because he probably shed them between winter and now. Uh oh, watch out, you three. Lily is like at the lead again. I swear she wants to be part of the hunt. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Ah, we're gonna have to wait. Onyx, watch out. She's a pretty clever one. She literally is leading Onyx directly to the bull elk. And her sisters are definitely giving everybody a good kick. Oh, come on. Yeah, we might want to start working our puppies towards the summer hunting ground after this, because at least we'll have one of them trained. All right, come on. Onyx, are you going to grab her first? We probably should move her rather than take her out over there. But I don't like leaving our puppies so far. Hopefully they can see from wherever they are. There we go. All right, they're over the ridge, but they've got the basic idea of how to work together as a team to take down these elk. And we have to hurry because I think Onyx is going to try to pick up our pups. Onyx, don't you take on that bull elk on your own. What was that? Do not show off for the babies, no matter what you think, okay? And look, he went straight to Lynx again. I swear, he's definitely got a soft spot for any of our, our youngest and our weakest wolf pups, which is really sweet. It's just very interesting to see him do that again and again. All right, Onyx, are you going to go feed yourself? You probably should. And now we have fully trained at least one wolf pup, uh, but we probably should move on. Or maybe I can, can I do a quick hunt with the last elk? Ah, that's going to be her. All right, let's see if we can chase her over towards the grasslands. And then we'll start moving across the grasslands, keeping a wary eye on the forest to the south where the dark raven pack actually is waiting to possibly steal puppies. But I feel our puppies are too old, so they wouldn't be adopted into a new pack very easily. So we don't have to worry about that. And Onyx is really worn out. Onyx, you should go get some food, my friend. I do not think you're going to be able to take out this elk with us if you don't go ahead and heal yourself. All right, come on. Yeah, she's going in the right direction for what we want to. Oh, look at that. They flanked her. Come on, come on, come on. You're going to be perfect if I can just take you out over here. And of course, now Onyx decides that he needs to go and get some more food. Oh, come on. That's all right. If I can just chase down this elk ourselves, we'll know that we'll have food waiting for us to link up between the elk herds and work our way towards the summer hunting ground. All right, let's get you out of the way. Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna do what needs done. And I can't wait for Wolf Quest 3 because if you guys have been following the official Wolf Quest page, uh oh, he's bringing Lily this way. Lily, no! Ugh. You can't just, look, Silver and Lynx are literally just dots, dots in the distance. You can't just do that. For crying out loud, Onyx, you can't just like leave the pups. Go get Lily! I can only imagine Lily tried to run after us because she wanted to go hunting too. So, all right, we've got it. We've got it. Come on, Lily. <laughs> we've got to somehow get all of our wolf pups together. But I guess we are going to be moving on over to the hills now. So we're going to avoid the southern forest. Let's try to keep all of our wolf pups together. We have taken out three cow elk. So we have hopefully trained them a little bit in the ways of hunting. And I'm gonna run back over and actually feed from a couple of these carcasses before we leave because we don't have a lot of food ahead of us and we're gonna need to do a lot of hunting in the hills next time to make sure that we have plenty for our pups to eat while we continue their training and continue working to the summer hunting grounds. So let's fill off of this. Don't you dare, Onyx. I'm gonna howl to distract him actually. That is actually 100% a howl just to try to prevent him. Oh yeah, I'm going to howl again. There we go. And that is entirely to try to prevent him. No! Uh, all right. I'm going to say Lily actually tried to follow us. And that is why she was the one that he brought this time. She's getting way too big for this. But I'm gonna say Lily tried to follow us and that is why uh, he brought her over because she wants to be grown up and she wants to be able to start hunting alongside us even though she is still far too young for that. So let's start the walk. Come along you three. It's gonna be slow going but we're going to start working over to the hills. We will be able to do more elk hunting over there and hopefully we will be able to wiggle. Look how far away it is. 
But yeah, the Aspen Heights is actually where a lot of you guys wanted to try to raise our wolf pups. So here we go. It's going to be a little bit of a walk, to say the least. In fact, I wonder... They're over here. But can we actually scout ahead? Is that something you can do? How far away? Oh, this is very far away, actually. <laughs> this is very, very far away before we're going to be able to work over towards the other elk herd. Yeah, wow, this is such a long distance. How am I gonna feed my puppies? We're gonna be really hoofing it, like back and forth, back and forth. I guess I could, <laughs> Onyx, you are going to get our pups killed. <laughs> There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Maybe I just have to wait. All right, come on, Lynx. Maybe if we just start walking, Onyx will actually collect all of our puppies and bring them together and we can defend them one at a time. I guess Lynx is the weakest, so it makes sense to bring him first. And it looks like Onyx is trying to pick up Silver. I think he's feeding them. Yeah, he's feeding them. And then I think Onyx may actually pick them up and start bringing them our way pretty soon. No, he's just coming straight over here. Is he gonna, oh no, is he bringing silver? Maybe? No, he is not. He is just literally walking here. What do you think you're doing, Onyx? Explain yourself, okay? Because this is this is a little bit perplexing. One, two of our wolf pups are just, oh, he's coming over to feed. Well, that makes sense, but now two of our wolf pups are just literally spots in the distance. All right, well, I'm gonna go grab them. Lily, you're quite the bold and strong wolf, so I'm going to grab silver first. We'll get all of you rounded up. Come on, Lily. And I'll go ahead and feed you. And we'll see how far we can make it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we'll see how far we can make it. Sorry, Lynx. Before we can get to the other hunting area for the elk. All right, Lily, there you go. I'm going to have to be very careful with the food that we have. It's supposed to last us until we can get to the other hunting area. And we're not even halfway there. I might want to scout ahead to try to get an elk or two. Oh, yes, there's carcasses over there. Fantastic. We must have left those last time, so at least we know we're coming up on something good. Oh, and this time you brought silver, huh? Well, if you're going to be dropping our pups off into the grasses, can you at least, like, make sure I know where they are? All right. Well, at least we're moving into the grasslands and we're training down here. All right, Lynx, Lily, you two are coming. Silver, you're right over here. Are we almost... Let's see if we can get at least as, as far as the other elk territory. And hopefully our pups will be okay. I'm nervous about the grasslands being full of coyotes. But if the coyotes show up, we're just going to have to teach our pups how to defend themselves. Alright, you three doing good? You three are very small and very slow. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's go get Lily. She has fallen at the back. Possibly because she's a little bit big and put too much energy into trying to catch up with us. Oh, coyote. Coyote, coyote, coyote. And how about no coyote? All right, got to keep an eye on it until I take it out. It looks like it was coming for Lynx, our runt. And there we go. All right, watch wolf pups. This is how you keep yourselves alive. Do not feed Lynx to the coyote onyx. I, I have mixed feelings about that. Part of me feels like he's trying to protect Lynx, and part of me feels like he is just offering a Lynx up, like a, a little runt puppy buffet to the coyotes. All right, go on. I'll feed Silver if you'll bring Lynx and Lily over to me. So Lynx is being targeted probably because he is the runt. Lily seems to be kind of holding her own. She is definitely a rough and tough wolf pup. I think that she is like the heaviest. And so she's the hardest to sort of move around. We're going to go ahead and feed her a little bit. There we go. And Onyx is off to actually go gather some more food. All right, Lynx, let's go ahead and feed you. And it looks like we're actually going to do fine. So wonderful. We taught the wolf pups how to do some hunting. We led them through the grasslands without incident. We have learned that Onyx really, really loves to protect the weakest puppies. The runts are just somebody that Onyx really reaches out for. He has a very compassionate heart that way. Silver continues to kind of trip over her own paws, trying to prove that she is a much bigger wolf than she actually is. And we'll have to see how their training goes here in the hillsides next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.
How about no? How about how about you're not eating my wolf pups? Lynx, are you being targeted? Where'd the, where'd the eagle go? Where'd the eagle go? Oh, I hear it. All right, we're waiting. We're waiting. I think I may have have chased it away. Maybe, maybe not. Eagle? Eagle? We already had the end of our day. We are not having any wolf pups eaten. We are not having any wolf pups mysteriously, mysteriously finished off. It's the end of the day. I'm going to assume that we're safe. I don't trust it. I'm concerned. It looks like Lily is actually looking at the sky, still trying to make sure that there's no eagle. But I think we're all right. Oh, thank goodness. 